In this video, we'll have a look at a few of the best request the quote plugin for WordPress that makes requesting a quote simpler, helping you streamline inquiries and close more deals. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so for example, with the plugins that I'll be mentioning throughout this video, you'll be able to create something similar to this. So when we click here, we can click add to quote. We can hide this price as well. So it's optional whether we want to display or not. Our prospects will be able to navigate over to the quotation page. And of course, we can customize this field to add even more information that we require from our prospects. Once they fill in their information, they can submit the quote. And then on the back end, we can go ahead and create a custom proposal and send it directly over to the prospect to approve or reject. If they approve it, can, we can send them to a payment page, right? Or it could be an invoicing option. So it's totally up to you. Or if we need more customization on a quotation form, we can do something similar to this. So this is using the second plugin, which I'll mention, right? So we can choose our options. We can scroll through, right? And we can add various different fields and then finally we can just add it to our quotation basket like we did earlier if you didn't want this type of layout what we can do is we can embed this form onto a dedicated page similar to this and by doing so it gives you the freedom to further customize the design and the user experience of the entire process right so for example we can add a hero image here we can add a customer testimonials below it right we can add a content around it so it's totally up to you right and again they just scroll through right and then once they're happy they can go ahead and submit the quote and finally the other option is basically creating a simpler quotation form like this where it's essentially it's just a contact form our prospects can fill in their information and then just send it off to us and we can review it and then give them a custom quote okay so without further ado let's get into our first recommendation okay so the first on our list is our very own AOV up request the quote a plugin i'll leave all the links in the descriptions below right and with this plugin here what we can do is assuming you're using a free WooCommerce plugin we can go ahead and convert regular products into quotes like this for example we can let's say you've got a solar installation service right or whatever the services that you provide we can go ahead and allow our prospects to add this to a quote and typically would have a quote basket here or even a call to action so i'm going to go ahead and request that quote again here on a product page right and let's go ahead and view this quote all right so this is our quote basket so we've got two we can reduce the quantity we're just filling our information information and we can customize this form as well and then we can hit submit and then on the back end we've got a complete management system so you can go ahead and manage all incoming quotes so we'll navigate over to AOV up okay so here we can see we've got one new quote so we can go ahead and click on this and this will take us directly over to our quotes page right and we can see we've got a few quotes here pending our approval so we can see all the information that the customer entered on the front end if you want as well, you can hide the current price, right? So currently we're displaying the current price on the front end. We can actually go ahead and hide this. So internally, whoever's reviewing the quote can see what this particular service typically goes for. And then we can go ahead and add our price, right? Based on the user's information, there's no shipping in this case. So we'll just leave it. We'll just set it to zero. And then essentially we can add an expiry date as well to this quote. So after a specific time period, so after this particular time period, that quote will expire. We can add a note to this quote. And once we're happy with everything, we can go ahead and hit update. This will automatically send the prospect an updated quote. So when we hit update here, we can see that status has changed to proposed, meaning we've already proposed the quote and then they'll get an email, right? And then they'll get a link where they need to either accept or reject the quote. If they reject the quote, status will update here. If they approve it, um, they'll be taken to a payment page where they need to go ahead and pay for that payment. So I'll leave a link on screen to a more in-depth tutorial where I show you how to further utilize this particular plugin. But this is just a quick overview of a few of the best request a quote plugin for WordPress. So I'll just quickly show you the settings where you go ahead and configure some of those automated emails. So we'll go to email here and then we've got customer email. So once they've just submitted a quote and it's a waiting proposal for admin to review it, we can customize this subject line here. We can add some dummy text like thank you very much for requesting a quote. Um, our team re will review it and we'll typically get back to you within X amount of days, right? Just to manage the client's expectation 
right? So then when it goes to propose, again, we can go ahead and automatically customize this email here as well. When it's approved, we can do the same and the same for rejected as well. So we've got a similar automation for our internal email. So we'll first need to enable this option, go ahead and customize our subject line and some text. So when a customer first submits a quote, then so we want to automatically send the admin or whoever's in charge of managing these quote requests um, an email letting them know that there's a quote that required their attention, right? So again, we just customize this. We could say something like a new quote waiting, a team appraisal or whatever the case is, right? So this is where we can automate some of these process. In terms of adding this request a quote feature to existing products on WooCommerce, all we need to do is navigate over to AOV up and then request a quote. We'll go add new rule. In your case, I've already created one. This one here, which I've misspelled. All right, and this should say admin example. All right, and then here, all we need to do is we get to choose which type of rule this is. So this rule is for registered users. In your case, you'll most likely do it for guest users, right? So that's users logged out of your site. Here, I've just done it for registered users because I'm currently logged in as admin. So it makes sense for this example. We'll go ahead and set our rule priority. Here, we've set the user role to be admin, which I'm currently logged in as, and I've set this to apply to all products. Products. So we can set it to specific products, specific product categories, specific tags, and even specific product status. But just to make things super simple, I've just applied it to all rules. Okay. And then here we've actually got an option to hide the retail price of the product, right? Or service. And then here we've got an option to hide the add to cart button. In this case, I'm currently replacing it with our add to quote button. If you wanted, you could keep the add to cart price and the request to quote price. So essentially your prospects will have an option. So for example, for this solar installation, we could say we've got a flat rate of a thousand dollars per installation. However, if it's a bulk job, then request the quote, right? So this is probably where you'd want to consider having a add to cart button and a request the quote button, right? Well, I'll just get it super simple. And then here we can customize the label. In my case, I've just put add to quote. So with regards to this services page, essentially I've just created a custom page. And here I've just added a few examples of different type of service that we might want to allow a prospect to request the quote for. We can also take this one step further with the second plugin on our list, which is the AOVUP product options. This plugin works as an add-on for the first request the quote plugin. So you'll need both of these together to achieve something like this, right? So this is way more robust. So again, this is just a regular product, but we've enhanced it somewhat. So here, imagine we're running a wedding planning business so we can allow our prospects to choose their venue we can choose to display the price or not this is up to you right so we can choose our venue we can choose our date there's numerous different types of fields in which you can add right and this will help us be able to further tailor that quote to our prospect right so if they want photography included and then we can just say add to quote we can take it another step further as well so let's say you didn't want this product page looking type of setup right what we could do is we could embed this entire option and a totally new page, right? Similar to what we've done here. And then essentially this will give you the freedom to go ahead and customize this page. So let's say you wanted a pink background. Maybe you wanted to add um, some video um, on this page, some testimonials and so on. You've got the freedom and the flexibility to do it when you use the embedded option. So I'm just going to quickly show you how I've actually gone about and added these extra options to a product. So let's head over to our dashboard. I'm going to navigate over to AOV up and then we want to select product add-ons. So I've already created um, this wedding add-on option set here. In your case, you can go ahead and click create option set, but I'm just going to go ahead and edit this one. All right. So again, we'll just add our name. It's just for internal purposes. And then we'll choose this option where it says add options to embed a product, right? And then here we'll essentially choose the product in which we want to add these extra options to. We get to specify who we want this to display to. In my case, in this case, I've just set it to all users. And then essentially we can just add our options. So we've got numerous different field type. And the beauty of this plugin as well is we can add complex pricing formulas 
again you can choose whether to only display this on the front end or on the back end so i'll leave a link on screen to a dedicated video where i show you how to create complex pricing formula with this particular plugin so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add, I'm going to break up these add-ons into different sections. So for example, we'll say venue, but we just want to split it up slightly. Hit save and I'm just going to drag this here. Okay, and we'll create a new section and we'll say wedding details. All right, and then we just hit save. Let's check this out. All right, so we'll check out the typical product page first and then we'll check out the embedded option. So refresh this. as you can see the option is nicely displayed now so we can choose our venue we can hit next we can choose our date right we can choose our number of guests and then we can hit next and then essentially just submit this quote right it's a similar thing when we refresh this page right everything's broken down into different steps um, since this is embedded we can customize the layout around it and to embed your product options onto a custom page all we need to do is i'm going to navigate back over to our product add-ons option i'm going to hit back and then here so this is this option that we're currently working on here we've got this short code option all we have to do is just hit copy short code and then essentially i'm going to edit this page we just paste our short code here right so as i said we've got the freedom to add content in and around um, our product option so this is great if you require lots of additional input from your customer so you can tailor that quote specifically to them so the beauty with this is we can automate the request the quote process or we can manually reach out so again when we head back over to our dashboard and we go to submitted quotes so when a new quote comes in it's totally up to us if we want to add notes here customize the pricing here because the customer information will already be included we can just copy their email and information and then just add it to our crm and then just email from there but we have the option from this back end to manage everything right so once we submit this proposal they'll get an email where they'll have the option to either accept your quote or reject it and they can add notes as well right so if they reject it then maybe you want to do a better offer and then add a note and then submit it to them again to review right so we can handle everything all from this particular plugin so i'll leave a link in the description below to a different video on this particular plugin where you can see how the email looks from the customer viewpoint and the admin viewpoint all of that and so much more the next plugin on our list is a simple solution and it's just to use contact form 7 or any other form builder right so the idea here is so i've already got this installed and activated so let's head over to so we'll head over to contact and a contact form but as i said the idea is you'll just create a new contact form and you will customize the form detail suit your requirement it is somewhat basic right but essentially we've got the information we need right so for example we've got the name field let's remove this let's delete that and i'm just going to add it back right so we'll just say text and this is the tag that we need to insert right so it's inserted this tag here so if we wanted to add a date field so for them to select that date we can just add this date field here and then we can just insert it onto the page and then obviously we need to create our label as well right like once you're happy with everything just hit save changes all right so i added a label however i didn't close out the label so let's hit save again all right and that's saved fine under mail we can further customize our settings here such as um two obviously that's the site email used here you can just go ahead and specify a fixed email if you want um who's it's from and so on subject line and so on right so you can further customize this so once you're happy with everything you can grab this short code here we can add it to a new page and then we can say something like get quote right and you can add this call to action anywhere on your website such as um, in a navigation and so on let's hit view right so this is our basic form obviously you'll customize the fields to suit your requirement now the next plugin on our list is gravity forms one of the most long-standing form builders in the wordpress space right and with this particular form plugin you can create 
complex forms and we'll go ahead and do so. So essentially it's a similar flow to what we've just created with a nicer interface and way more functionality. All right, so here we can get started by using one of these libraries. Okay, so we've got a request a quote form. Give it a name, I'll just say quote. All right, and straight away, we've got a pretty decent form here. So they can add a service required, how they heard from us and so on. And of course we can go ahead and add more options to this form builder. Once you're happy with everything, we can click embed. We can automatically embed it onto a page or a post, or we can just copy the short code like I will here. Of course, you want to go ahead and customize the form settings. Again, this is just a quick overview of how we can use each of these plugins to create a quote form in WordPress. So I'm going to remove old short code and add this gravity form one here. Let's hit save changes and let's view page. All right, so this is a pretty good form. And this brings us to the end of this video. All the links and resources mentioned will be in the description below. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.